Okay, in this lesson we are in the key of F, trying to get you used to the key of F, and I'm just showing you another little device, another little tool, another uh, little something to uh, help you in your, your uh, journey to learn how to play by ear and to uh, make up your own stuff and your own songs. You just have to keep going forward. So here's another little, a nice, this is uh, really the pattern in, the, in this one's gonna be in the right hand and the left hand's gonna play octaves. And let me just, better than, than explaining it, let me just play it and you can see what I mean. Uh, let me add, I forgot to put quotes here, so let me do that. Okay, let's look at uh, the right hand first. Um, we have a little pattern here in right hand. Uh, we have uh, an F right above middle C, and then we have a C above that, and then we have an F above that. Now you can either put your middle finger on that C or the pointer finger. I like, I don't know, either one. But uh, the point is we have three notes in the right hand. Now here's the pattern. We're going to start on the middle note and go C, F, C, F. So we go C, down to F, C, up to F. And that's the pattern, four notes. One, two, three, four. Sounded like a lot more, didn't it? That's all I'm doing. One, two, three, four. This is an octave and a fifth in the right hand. We've done octave and a fifth plenty in the left hand, now let's do it in the right. We're going to do each box twice, two times for each box. Now in the left hand, just play an F octave below middle C. So here's our F octave, and let's play that F octave with the first note of my right hand. Two, three, four. Okay, and then we do it again. Two, three. Actually, I'm sorry, don't play the left hand again. Just play it that first time and that's it. So, one. what you do for each box. And if you go fast, it sounds like that. It might take you a while to get going fast, but one more time. Play the F octave in the left hand with the first note of the right hand, with the C. Then do it again. So that's the first box. Now let's, com let's continue the pattern on each box. Let's move the left hand down to an E octave. Play the same right hand, exactly the same. One, two, I didn't write it out every time, I just put quotes so that you would realize it's the same octave and fifth every time. So one, two, next box, we're gonna move the left hand down to a B flat octave. So down here, B flat on the thumb, B flat on the pinky, continue the same right hand pattern. Okay, and we do each box two times, of course. Next box, move the left hand up to a C octave. And let's do the pattern. One, two, then move the left hand up to a D. Right here, do the pattern. One, two, and then left hand goes down to a low G here. G octave, G on the thumb, G on the pinky. One, two, and then move the left hand up to a B flat. Do the pattern twice. One, two, and then here I put an E on the right hand, so E way up here. Here's middle C, so here's the E we want with a G below that, and left hand moves up to a C octave, and you just hold it. Two, three. Four, and then you can start over. Okay, so in this box we have one, two, and then. Now what chord is this? Look what we have: C, E, and G. It's a C chord. Why did I put a C in the right hand? Well, I just liked the sound of not having the C there. I've got a C in the left hand, so you don't always have to play three notes in your right hand. You can play two or just one. I like two here. If you want to add the C in the middle, go right ahead. If you want to roll it, do that. But uh, anyway, it's a big, nice sound. You can... And notice I added a little more rhythm with my left hand uh, in there. And you can, can attempt that if you want to. I don't want to ask you to do that in these lessons yet. If you want to be adventurous and try that, go right ahead. Okay.